How's it going everybody? Odyssey64 here, back with another episode of Metopia on the channel. Wow, and I'm not sure if you guys can hear, but there's definitely a voice difference in here. There's all has been emptied from this room for very special reasons. So, but today's episode we will be going through the 6th district of New Lumos, right where we left off. Alrighty. Yeah, that's, yeah, per exactly where we left off, and it looks like it's gonna be a relatively short one, so we may be able to do some side quests on this one. So hopefully you guys enjoy this this video where we go through the entirety of each of these New Lumos districts, especially this one, because this one is, well, of course the newest one that we've done. We've done districts 1 through 5 in our previous episodes, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying those and you guys enjoy this one. If you do, definitely make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss another episode of Metopia when it airs on the channel. And with that being said, let us just continue on and see what new and annoying monsters await us in this strange new area. Well, it looks like other than the Black Harpy, there isn't anything new here. Alright, ooh, Feline Frenzy, both gone, beautiful. But yeah, I don't know how my voice is going to be different on the, uh, on actual, like, video. It may stay the same, I don't know. The acoustics are a lot better in here now because the lot has been emptied, so... Am I in a bad mood? Um, not really. Are there things that bug me right now? Yes, but am I in a bad mood? Not really. If there's like 50 like... If there's 50 like... Un like if there's like 50 of like those undead imp... Like those um... Those red imp things. I forgot what they're called already, but if more of those show up, then, then I'm then I'm gonna my mood is gonna sour real quick. Alright, so level 47, relationship with the school. Big snort. Like boy, the last one was long. It was almost an hour. And that was like no breaks whatsoever. Like just going through the entirety of the district in like one episode. I'm glad that, so I'm kind of glad they're giving us a little bit of a break with this one. Like, it doesn't look like there's going to be as many, like, branching paths or levels. But this one seems to have a lot of branching paths in it, so... Maybe I'm speaking too soon, who knows? Maybe this will be exactly... Like, exactly around 30, 30 minute mark. Or it may even be longer, shockingly. Okay. That was weird, it like froze for whatever reason. Alright, level 38. Who's on the lowest relationship with the wars? My dad, alright. Let's see. Only Aiden wants something. We got food I need to feed to my people, so. And we got 25 tickets too. I remember like a couple like a while ago where I was like really worried because like at the start of this new season of Metopia, where I was afraid that we were going to run out of tickets. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. Alright, let's see what's in this treasure chest over here. Hopefully it's something new for one of us. Oh, there they are. Alright, the Legendary Claws. This is one of two final rarity items. So for the cat, it will be the legendary claws and the legendary cat suit. For the warrior, it will be the legendary sword and legendary armor. For thieves, it will be the legendary dagger and the legendary gear. And for chefs, it will be the legendary frying pan and the legendary outfit, so on and so forth. So that's just one piece of the puzzle here before we are ready to face what lies beyond New Lumos. A, as you can see, we've clipped all possible claws, the preferred weapon of the cat. And someone's sick. Great. Oh, it's Kai, too. Ugh. That's the last thing we need. Well, since he's out, we might as well buy Christian a new bat, because he's gonna, because he's gonna set out for him. 
We'll equip only its stats for now. I'm gonna keep everyone wearing the hero outfit stuff until I get... Until everyone gets like their gold stuff. Alright, but let's see what's going on. Between my friend and Aiden. Wait, <laughs> my friend Aiden and my mom. Great set of lungs. Alright. Alright, let's see what dad's doing with Frostbite. Ah, just brushing him? Nice. Look at that, almost a full level up. You might as well just stay in there. Next couple up, next couple little quests I do, he's gonna be like three, like he's gonna be up like ten levels in relationship with a horse, which is, which I never understood. Like they really push horse relationship in this game. All right, so again, continuing on with our normal format with the districts. I know in my intros I call them sectors. It just sounds cooler. I also did it on accident, now it's kind of like a trend now, so it'd be really weird breaking that. But yeah, so Kaylee has got her max level of claws. I wonder how soon we'll be getting her cat suit. Alrighty, earning charity. Alright. Oh, uh, look at that. Touched by Kaylee's Prince, but we won't really need it because it's probably gonna end in this in this song. Um, yeah. Oh, or not. Hey, I can actually use the good mood and full of energy. There we go, 357, easy. I still can't believe in the last episode we hit we broke through the 2000 HP barrier. Well like 2000 damage, like that's crazy. Uh, there's something there. What could it be? Investigate. Oh, it was a kitten. Restore like two MP. I feel like MP should like stand for something else, considering the fact that it's not really magic you're using because like, like if you think about it, with like cheek rubs, playful antics, and you were just fighting a stray kitten in the in the tall grass, you, you kind of restore it through like means of like enjoyment and happiness. So. So I don't know what you would call it. It can't be called happiness points since it sounds like HP. Treasure or a shortcut? We'll go for treasure this time first and then we'll go for shortcut later. All right, ham sandwich. All right. Wow, they're kind of like rocking everyone. All right, snort. Maestro cooking for Christian, beautiful. Oh, scorching breath. Tried to steal something, okay. Oh. <laughs> He's a vampire, he'll be fine. Alright, super spin slash, showing off for Kaylee is always good. Wipe all three of them out. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, a little bit of gold. Honestly, it's strange. Most of our Mies haven't been asked, like, most of our main Mies haven't been asking for stuff recently. Like, which is odd. Maybe if I buy the stuff for everyone else, it'll just show up. Which would make sense, considering how far ahead the game wants to kind of prioritize them. But right now, no one wants anything, and Addy wants to see me, so we'll see what's up. Oh, Abby bought a present. Went shopping, got you something. Thanks. Oh, it's a satin cushion. How did speechless? Beautiful. Alright, let's see what Dad and Frostbite are up to. Uh, alright, so just taking a nap. Oh, no one showed up to like crash the party that time. Okay. 
Yeah, so no one wants anything. The arcade is not good. Actually, no, let's do a quick check. All right, let's go to the catalog. How close am I to getting like my final weapon? All right, so I'm one away. I think my brother's one away too. Yeah, he's one away. And my mom's one away from the front, but yeah. We're reaching end game gear, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I may be like, I think I'm like one or two armor sets away. Is that what it is? All right, so I'm three armor sets away. My brother's two gear sets away. Mom's two outfits away. And I think Kaylee may be one or two cat suits away. Okay, she's three cat suits away. All right. I'm curious to see what happened if I removed everyone who I'm not using in my, in like this in right now, and if it would convince them to start asking for more stuff since no one else is asking for anything. I feel like that's how this game would work. But I'm not gonna risk it because I need like extra people in case people get sick. Really, that's it? gonna be that short? Okay. Alright, 12 minutes into the episode? Fine. Or this level's just gonna ruin it all, watch. Be like 30 different pads. Which means we may finish this in like 20 minutes or so. Like if it's like super long. Uh, oh! Um, you know, I could just use Hyper Sprinkles just to make this stuff go a lot faster. Which, which may be interesting. Imagine if you could use, um... I say, imagine if you could use, um... Snap out of it on yourself. I, I for one, f would find that hilarious. Alright. Sounds like a quick left rest right now. Oh. Why are they making everybody cry? This is not fair. Alright, Kaylee's still scratching, so I won't interrupt her. Also, I'll let her finish scratching before I send her into the, uh... Until I send her to the safe spot, because she's doing... She's got a good chance for a high attack. Oh, nay! Oh! Oh, that's cool! Nice, so that's kind of like a free safe spot and she's right back to crying. So is my mom. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Snap out of it! Ooh, Bat Tornado. Boom! <laughs> the Knight is such a good class. Or, excuse me, the Warrior. It's such a good class. You got revive properties, you can snap people out of status ailments, or whatever you like to call them. And this level has been taking much too long. It didn't help that everyone was kind of having like a mental breakdown. Alright, so that's all taken care of. There's gonna be another branch, right? One go- Oh, Treader! Oh! Okay! That makes this much easier! Thanks, game! Alright, one more enemy and either another enemy, a conversation, or a treasure chest. Hopefully, it's either a conversation or a treasure chest, but I prefer a treasure chest with money in it, just in case. It's not even that strong of enemies this time, so it should be good. Alright. Hey, look at that. Definitely not needed at all. Oh, 
Oh, a treasure chest. Let's go. Oh, a singular banana. Alright, that made this so much easier. How the pad's like interconnected. Hey, let's go. Why is this game taking so long to load all of a sudden? That's weird. Okay, so Christian wants the heart too. I might as well give it to him. But I'm curious if... But we'll figure it out later on because by the end of this game, I have no need for any other teammates. Unless there's like more levels like New Lumos. And there's like a bunch of like areas that we have to go through before we fight through that hinted at tower throughout when it, ever since this game came out, so. So I may keep everyone else around a little bit longer, but if not, and it's just a new tower, there's really no need. But I will be doing a bunch of relationship stuff off camera though, once all this new Luma stuff is done, because I need everyone's relationships to be stacked. And by stacked, I mean like straight stacked, like everyone's at level 40. Alright, but yeah, the boss is right up there, and there's only one level here, so this district is kinda... If the other one is short, maybe we could do both. The... That kinda defeats the entire purpose of me going through all the districts at once. Uh, so I'm crying, but I don't care because it's the only enemy. Well, everyone's humming out, so even if I miss, which I did. <laughs> there we go. So, one more enemy, right? Yeah, one more enemy than the branch, and then there's gonna be one more enemy than probably treasure. And then I think that's it for that for those levels. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be hard grinding, like well, I'm definitely I may do like a couple grinding episodes because for the most part, up until New Lumos, I know what's coming next since I've played this game before, and I want to get everybody on this team to level 50, just so that way the fight the fight that you guys will see really soon is a lot easier. I'll say our XP is actually looking pretty sharp actually now that I think about it. Alright, so this is a shortcut. So there may be like so it's a shortcut, so... Oh, okay. You're so kind, Matthew. Oh yeah, we've seen this before. You let monsters get away, just the weak ones. Those who are looking for a fight, I can't let them hurt my friends. See, you really are kind. If things go awry in the, um... In, like, either spot of the... Of like near end game, this is a really fun thing I want to do, but I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna happen if things go well. But it makes me kind of hope things are gonna go bad. But at the same time, <laughs> there was like this one clip I had. It wasn't necessarily a clip, but it was a recorded boss fight on Utopia on 3DS where it got really close and. Just like a, I only had enough MP for a jump slash, I run out all my sprinkles and everything and just done. Alright, so I was right on the money. Around 20 minutes, we complete, we basically complete this whole thing. So, let's see what's here. Alright, let's see what it is. Oh! Look at this duo. Oh, alright, so we got the Dark King and Queen, alright. Alright. Let's see how quickly they fall. This may actually be kind of tough. Like, find the Dark Lord is always a tough battle, but... 
Considering we got like one of these queen characters to deal with, who can like dip your heart into darkness and luring into nightmares. Hyper, take him out of the safe spot. Let's see, they're gonna do some crazy status ailments. Like, now nah, I think about it. Like, dipping hearts into darkness, making people have nightmares. Oh, that's a lot of damage, too. So, we're just gonna sprinkle everybody. I may actually have to play this game now. Which is definitely new, if you guys think about it, because for the most part I've just been like speeding it up, so I'll have to pay like closer attention now. Alright, Luren Kaylin to a nightmare. Also, the Dark Lord boss fight music is so good though. I mean, once you think I used it for my Season 1 recap, it's so good. Oh, also, the queen is down. Alright. Lana's awesome. Alright. What's the enemy status? Alright, I'm getting ready. Oh, wow, we barely touched him. Alright. Alright. Alright, we got one more hyper left. We're gonna use it on our best attacker. Alright, so this is just like now a, dark, a normal Dark Lord boss fight, luring me into a nightmare. Great. There's like, I, I don't think there's a way you can resist that without the help of like a scientist or a... Without like a scientist, a princess, or like a personality that just denies it because... There's like no way. Alright, so Flambe over here. Alright, mount to attack, right? Yeah. 712. Showing up for me, 725. Showing up for Kaylee. 400. Lower Mama to a Nightmare. Ah, oh, great, that room's a good move. The Nightmare is annoying. But I'm glad we got rid of that Dark Queen, though, because dipping hearts into darkness is not. It's not good. All right, 339, that's the best I can do. Sneak attack, that's good. All right, I'm letting a hand with pincer. All right. All right, so, I do have full, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. If you guys remember from the previous episode, you'll know how much damage I did with this attack. So... I am going to do it. Oh, he's almost dead anyway, okay. Might as well finish him like a warrior. Come here, Dark King! 1,791. Wonderful. And with that... Hey, Kaylee level up too, let's go! I don't think you learn anything past like level 45 or something. But yep, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Dark King and Queen. I mean, we kind of... Alright, so you defeated the powerful Dark King and Dark Queen in New Lumos' 6th district. I think I'll just put them like the Dark Royal family in the video, in the thumbnail video. Which will be, which would be kind of a funny thing to put down. But yeah, I mean, it's a good spot to stop, but I mean, we still got, we still got time. Like, we got time. Let's use it. Not for like feeding companions, no, no, let's just like do like a side quest or two. Alright, but yeah, we have two districts left, people. Okay, so this one also has another treasure chest. And then it looks like we may need to like build a bridge. So that's that for New Lumos for this episode, but 
Let's, like, we're gonna have a decent amount of time. Let's go ahead and do a subquest. All right, so we got a delivery we can do. We got a food quest. We got another delivery. We got you. I'm Haxang or something. You could say I'm a gossip. I've been yapping so much lately, my throat is sore. <laughs> I can really do with some water to soothe it. Some pure water from the sinister plant. The sinister plant would just be dandy. Hey, they could scoop some up for me. A little bit of gold. I mean, sure. But I might as well just do some of these deliveries while I'm here. You know, just to like reset everything. Alright, so Henry from Greenhorn. Alright, I'll take that to Henley. Oh, we're getting a bunch of food as a result. I'll say I really don't feel like doing any of event. Not a I'm I really don't feel like doing another one of Pearl's little food quests right now because we don't really need food but yet. I'm doing a quest to get food. So Alright, so here we are in the village of Greenhorn where we first started this game. Boy, it takes me back. Alright. Alright, so we got a delivery from your neighbor, and it's a cuddly bunny, and Henry is really pleased with that. Yeah. Alright. That was probably a nice throwback for you guys who've been watching since episode one. Oh, and there's a new traveler at the Traveler's Hub. Hey, Dio. <laughs> Quizmaster Dio. I'm not doing one of his crazy banana quests. Alright, how'd it go? Oh, good, he liked it. I knew I made the right choice. Alright, thanks for the food, bro. Like, that's a food quest. Level 47, though. You know. It's Air Frontier. Uh, that's a... That's a tempting quest. I'll I'll do that I'll do that one off screen actually. Because that's like legendary. We'll just we'll do this easy one. Because the heart actually you know what? No, I'm not gonna chicken out on that right now. I'm gonna do that on screen. It's crazy, the difficulty is 47. So needless to say, this is gonna be an interesting quest. All right, I'll take you to the air frontier, Pearl. All right, so we got two minutes. This will probably take longer than two minutes, but that's fine. All right, let's see what's up. And again, these quests are indeed temporary, so there's no point in trying to explore every route unless you really are going for that, that XP grind. Which, in some cases, is better than grinding in the other world. So, also, there is treasure in these levels, so we could potentially find some weapons and armor we could use for our main team over here. But yeah, Air Frontier. Boy, this place is ancient. Oh, you know what? Leave it be. Yeah, here's the thing. Oh, wait, never mind. That's the wrong personality. Dang it. I, should, I probably should have dug it up. I was going... I forgot that it, stubborn is the opposite of what I was thinking. I was thinking that for stubborn, they would start digging, but then, like, stop immediately without any input. But that's... That's, like, the exact opposite of a stubborn person. They just keep going. So... I think what it would be is you would tell them to not dig after they've already dug and they would just keep going for a little bit longer. So needless to say, I kind of played that wrong. But the rewards for digging are really not that good anyway. Wow, it did a bunch of damage. This is going to be interesting. Alright, Maestro cooking. Honestly, it's nice kind of just getting away from new, from the bustling city of New Lumos and just chilling out on the Air Frontier and other older locations. Just to gain a little bit more XP. It's, it's a nice refresher, honestly. Alright. 
Bonus XP, I'm so close to leveling up. There we go. Two star fragrant tea. Wow, all right, one level, bet. All right, level 37 with the horse, pushing level 40. Oh, hey, finally. Someone on our main team wants some new gear, go for it. Keep this on for now. All right, so I think she's two away from, yeah, she's definitely two away from her legendary cat suit. But yeah, once we got our main team golden outfitted, everyone else is like, it's not worth it. All right, so treasure chest level. Hopefully it's not something for Kaylee again. Best, like, it would give her a little bit of a jump start, but we need everyone else to catch up. Oh, a giant UFO. Sailing food is helpful, but not necessary. Oh, look at that, Pinsor on a black snurf. Oh, stealing bananas. I mean, we don't use them. We'll just keep super spin slashing. Oh, feline frenzy both down. Wow, sharpening into feline frenzy is instant death. But I do have a little bit of a funny exploit that you can do with that. So if push comes to shove, I'll show you guys what that is. It's really good. All right, what's in here? The legendary uniform. Wait, hold on. I thought my mom was like two away. Huh. I guess she was closer. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, the legendary uniform, one of two pieces for my mom, which is wonderful. All right, so no one wants anything. Arcade is looking good though. Mass mat, never mind. It's worthless. Yeah, 38 outing tickets, 117 grub. I gotta I definitely gotta grind like off screen, like for the like for the finale of just Metopia. Alright, so that's basically sort of just like a little shortcut. Alright. Uh, whoa, so that's why it was a harder difficulty. It's a replica Dark Lord. Yeah, a replica Dark Lord is what we're fighting? All right, so let's see if I can get this to trigger. I'll just have me and my brother go hyper for a quick second. Well, we just, this is just a singular Dark Lord, so it's nothing. Oh, this be it, my kindness shines. And I just take that hit. Wow. That was huge. I can see why this is level 47. Like, we're right on par with it. I may have to actually play the game again. Alright, if Katie starts sharpening her claws, I'm gonna show you the exploit before. Why are you trying to steal food? Oh, oh. I was about to say that dancing arrow worked. Alright, so clearly it's not working. Oh, luring me into a nightmare. Alright. So, so far we fought two dark, we're fighting, we fought, yeah, we have fought, I'm already claiming we're gonna win this, so if I lose, it's not gonna be 
it's not going to make me look good, so... We have fought literally two Dark Lords in this episode. That's crazy. What a coincidence. Oh, okay. So, watch this. She's scratching, which boosts her attack even more, but she's hyper now, which is hilarious. Oh, come on! This game. Alright. What's the enemy's task? Alright, he's asking for it. I'll let Kaylee rest in the safe spot for now. Alright, over 1,000 damage, here we go. Boom, 1751, and he's still kicking. Hmm, I'm not going to lose. Dancing arrow for 92, but it doesn't dance. Well, I'm all out of MP now, but that's fine. I think we're almost done with this anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, we're done here. Whack em. Let's go. Wow, that's a lot of experience. Give that to my brother, why not? And we got an ultimate delicacy. This is the famed snack. There we go. Thanks for the chop rocks, Pearl. See you around. Wow. We fought two versions of the Dark Lord in a single episode. How coincidental is that? Alright, that is... Alright, we're not going to end it until we go back into New Lumos. I feel like that's a good spot to end it. I mean, I'll look at all the conversation stuff later. Like, you know, I, I'm going to get all this stuff situated. I'm not sure if I'm necessarily going to just go start hard grinding, like, my heart off for like, these, for, like, these last four levels or not. I don't know. I did not want to go to Nimbus. Nimbus is a cool world, just saying. But, we're going to end off in New Lumos, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to save and quit here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Metopia. If you guys enjoyed, definitely make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And ring that notification bell so you do not miss another episode of Metopia when it airs on the channel. I'm so excited. We are almost done with New Lumos, and we'll see what the reborn, per the reborn person, the dark curse has become Josh. Let's see, I, I can't wait to see, well, granted I already know, but some of you guys maybe knew this game and you guys don't know what Josh, the secret Josh, is hiding behind his dark curse powers. So with that being said, everybody, hope you guys are excited for that. Definitely stay tuned, especially ring that notification bell and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.